snowflake begins to form when a water droplet freezes around an atmospheric dust particle. This becomes what's called a condensation nucleus. It can be just four millionths of an inch in diameter. That's a thousand times smaller than the thickness of a single sheet of paper. In sub-freezing temperatures, the water molecules crystallize around this speck of dust. When this crystal becomes heavier than the surrounding air, it begins to fall. During its approximate 15 to 45 minute trip to the ground, this new snowflake travels through changes in humidity, temperature, and wind. As the flake adds water molecules, each of these atmospheric factors contribute differently to form a unique six-armed symmetrical pattern. For example, flakes that fall through cold and dry conditions typically have simpler, compact shapes, while those falling through warmer, more humid conditions often have very complex dendrites, or arms. Now, when taking into account the countless subtle variations of weather each crystal can experience, the odds of two snowflakes being exactly the same shape are astronomical. Under a microscope, an average size snowflake can easily have more than 100 distinguishable features. And even though every year it's been estimated that one septillion snow crystals fall to the ground, that's a one with 24 zeros, we'll still likely never see two that are identical.